Previously on TOK Taking Over. Reggae Month, I want to do this Blue Mountain Music Festival. But really, I wonder if this is the right time for the show. I don't really want the negative vibes because at the end of the day, it's like a benefit all day. Get up on the road all day, my youth. As soon as you reach the yard, you beg me water. Yeah, man. but matter if him there by him yard for the whole day, as soon as him reach in my house, the first thing him say, can get some water. Why the rehearsals? Walking now, as far as we know, we just have to sing two songs and we'll have some dancers that support the performance. We get to understand that so there's a choreograph routine for we too. <laughs> Because I want to do the festival, I feel like I might have to put my law on pause. Between that and the listening news, I think I have to put the law on pause for a little bit. You study this? Yeah. So this is the night of the YVAs, the Youth View Awards. I'm not going to lie, people. TOK Swag, turn up. I mean, we step on stage and it felt natural. The good thing about TOK is that once we're on stage, even our mistakes look planned. Basically, sponsor thing approved supremely challenging. I have a couple of yeses still. Well, one main, yes, but I mean, one and one, I'll do it, and it's like it, it, it up on the wire now. What is happening now is that the sponsors, they might give you a warm time. It's so difficult for them for them understand our vision. They now see the big picture the way we see it. You and Natalie was, was saying, boy. I tried it one day instead of two. It can't be a festival if it's one day. And then, so you have to start with a one day concert and then make it grow two years or three years into a festival. I'd like to, as it start, people as you know, say, it's a weekend of experience, you know. Craig suggests that we don't do two days with the one day. If it's a festival, we have to start off with two days. It can't be a one day festival, as, at least for my vision of it. Basically, I just know that so this is a year where we're just going to take the beating for it, for us to get it established. We just have to mm -hmm. go hard, go hard with marketing, promotion, and blow it up so big that who never come on last year going to be like, yo, how we met this pathway? Mm -hmm. And hopefully, them come on next year. So, I mean, I know, and I'm ready to fair ride with me through the street last year, because I know that mm -hmm. the two days, it make, like, it make the problem, make the challenge double. It's the end of one day, but I feel like we can, we can do it serious too. We take on this task to plan this two day festival in four months, and it, it, it all broke my back. And I mean, no, say it's a mashup, basically, you might not say it, but we can see it. We thought at this point that we'd have some sponsors on board, but all I see is us, the list of sponsors going down and down and down, and the costs keep going up and up and up. I think at this point, with such a short time left, I think we need to link up with Anubis, JCDT, and all of it just make a side visit. Yeah. All right, That's so good. when best for you? Mm, good man, anytime. Man, right. I know this is the biggest thing right now, so whenever. Well, it's Saturday morning right now, and every Saturday I play volleyball, you know? That's kind of a thing to kind of keep myself active, keep myself fit. I like this side say he mother introduced me in the volleyball world. Everybody that know me from day one know that I'm a football person. And I decided that well I'm gonna make Flex play on my team with some people who are clearly better than us. <laughs> Big mistake. <laughs> What was that? Was that a sissy slap? Ah, uh, uh, my god, I think I broke a nail! My god! Oh my god! This is no excuse though, but the sun, the in my eye. It never have, no, no, I'm good enough. You know? And the sun, they just in my eye. I guess basically carrying on the team, the team is now, can now qualify for the Special Olympics. You know, cover a handicap. Mm. 
you see that's how man score goal, my you. You score goal. You hit the ball, people can't return it, that means you did something good. Youth, watch and learn. He was fouled! You never see the you ever see them the, 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 the um the person beside me bumped me when I was trying to serve. Yeah. I get serious for it, you know. You know, nobody can test me for volleyball, is it? We lost. I think it's because I flex still, but I won't, I won't be the one to point the finger still. Just flex still. Now we're at Hollywell. First time I'm going up there for the site visit, so you know some I forgot from the night before because me is a, a preparation free. I gotta have a porridge stall at the thing called porridge I'm thing. Taste test it now, this is this is the real test of the thing now. Check to make sure that it's the same quality because I'm into consistency, I'm into regularization. Craig is nut porridge with pistachios, cashews. Lots of secret niceness. People always also just say, yo, so why you not cook for the group when you're on the road? No. Men are not not at all. When you spend your money and buy these things, T.O.K. will not reimburse. But T.O.K., especially this thing on them, they have no conscience speak up to the DJ. We, we were in Japan and I decided that it makes more sense to go to the supermarket than, you know, continuing to buy out and the fast food. I said, all right, we're going to go to the supermarket. I will go, I will shop, I will get the stuff or whatever, whatever. You get all of your, all of your perdium up front. Some of just use half the day because you know everybody go eat some. So I use all of mine to buy the food. So I had a little, a little jar. I'm gonna say all that went charge, you know, because you know, whatever, whatever. But put something in the jar so we can eat the next day. Because I'm scared. They say alone. <laughs> the man left just near my left. <laughs> not, God. not even wash up. Not evil and left me with everything. With the plate them, without no food. And, and then every day them see me, them say, Bumba Craig, you know, cook again. <laughs> every day. So me just and the man, them ungrateful, you fret. Me, nah, do them something there for take me. I keep my money in my pocket and I this other thing there. The amount of times I ask you mm. if you're not going to cook again, that was their appreciation. <laughs> so, JCDT, Jamaica Conservation and Development Trust, they're the ones who manage the whole national park actually, and they're the ones who we have partnered with for this festival. I spoke with Jeremy. And we went through and told him where we wanted tents and he was saying, yeah, that's where they usually have tents, etc. We're doing the first site visit with them and with Anubis Communications, who are the ladies who are managing the festival for us. We're here to see all of the things, all the problems that may pop up, all the things that we need to be aware of and just look over the whole grounds to make sure we're not having any surprises on the day of the festival. When you, when you enter, it would really be nice to face the front of the stage. I think we might have to move the stage. Uh, I, I think that where the stage is, the area in front of the stage is not is not is not big enough to hold the crowd that we are anticipating. So, I have been challenges with, with with where the stage is set. At this point, where we're not seeing the the, the, the cash commitment from the sponsors, we have, to, we have to figure out a way to make it work with what we have. We might you know set ourselves a little way at the end and we might end up after pay for the festival a couple months after but at the end of the day the festival will be done and it will be paid for so we're gonna see what we're going good morning, morning. morning. Bye, man. i'm fine good. yes today is a birthday so you can tell me happy birthday yes yes my birthday good. yes yes my happy birthday today is the best day in the world. Today is my birthday. Morning, ladies. Morning, morning. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yes. You know, some of my <laughs> gym partners at the gym decided to wish me happy birthday and give me a nice little fruit basket, you know? Thank you, Mrs. Ellis. This is very nice and thoughtful. This can go with my banana that I brought for myself today. To see. You see, my banana, before and after. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Ellis, that was very nice of you. Treat me like, you know, like them son. Play volleyball Saturday and you want to see me stay, so I half eat the ball level. I'm, it's like my dream about food Saturday night. Let's see the little results, you know what I mean? Look at the thing I go on yesterday, let's see the thing, you know? 
Why are you gonna get now? How much? Or am I gonna work for these? Okay, we're gonna work for them right now. Okay. We're gonna just do exercise. We're gonna mix it up. So yeah. get um get a 15. Keep it low enough. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. To get fit and to stay healthy and to look a certain way, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication. One more like that. Eh? But we have some other stuff to do. But because the birthday, I'm supposed to get ease up. Not murderation. Ease up, you know what I mean? It's birthday, so you know, we can kick back and just, you know? Don't go as hard as I would normally go. Birthday, boy. Yes, bastard, this is my birthday. Give thanks. While at the gym now, Flex decides to call me and say, well, you know, it's your birthday. Then some going to take me out and go and treat me because of my birthday. I don't know what them have planned, I don't know what them are doing, but in the spirit of everything, and you know, since my bridging them and thing, I don't have a problem with it, I just work with it. Right, well, let me know I don't have a problem with anything. I'm good, anything. Hello? Yeah, ZJ. You're Mommy told me that, you, that you're sick. How you feel? Yes, Your mother told me that you're sick. How you feeling now? Uh, a little better. A little better? Yeah. Okay. ZJ is my son. His mom had called me, telling me that he's not feeling well. So I'm on my way over there to check up on him, see how I'm doing. Come, home the green. Presently, ZJ is not living with me. He lives with his mom. So no matter how busy I am, I try my best to make that time. What you doing? Oh. So you feel better to go to school tomorrow now? Tomorrow is football? Oh, that's why you want to go to school tomorrow? <laughs> ZJ is a very energetic person, you know, like football. I, don't even, I wouldn't even say like football, he love football, just like him father. You want to play football? Okay. Okay. Put on your shoes on. How was the party that you went to on Sunday? Stony Hill. How was it? Good. Girls were there or just the football team? Uh, about three girls were there. Three girls? Yes. And what, ten men? No. <laughs> Whenever we start playing ball, it's like I use this opportunity to just basically talk to him and just catch up, you know, see what, if I miss anything. So you want for your birthday? Only like four other pers persons at a, at a birthday at Football Factory. Who are you going to invite if you're doing the Na football? Najin, Kimani, Kyle and Luke. You have to invite some girl too. But football really? So girls play football too. But none of them at my school like football. Cause you can't cut the cake with no boy, you know. So you have to have a one girl. You know, I don't think I'm going to want a cake. <laughs> you think you're smart, you know? Every father want to know so them son, you know, love the girl, them, you know. You understand? So at the end of the day, I have to make sure so my youth just know from day one, you know, I have to be like him father. So the father, so the son. My papa was a girl, is. See him so you fit on. <laughs> if you're keeping it there, then I have to choose the girl. Okay. <laughs> You all right with that? Okay. Today is the launch of the first music video for my protege, who is Kenny Smith. Girl, I want to tell you how much I want to hold you. I really want to show you. This is a, a young singer that I brought on as my wild card on Rising Stars. He's 18 years old, he plays five instruments and he's an amazing singer. It's just bass, uh, just all of us. You go up there, from there have the guitar in the and you start there, you have a comfort He was a little bit shy on the competition, of course, you know, he's in first time in front of some bright lights and things. He couldn't, he never understand it, you know what I mean? They, so it, they kind of knock him for six, he, 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 he never know what to do, he flustered. That's right now, I'm very comfortable. Take care. Alright, I'm going to enjoy and the people them enjoy themselves too with me. Sim. Because that, that's how we are. I put my money where my mouth is. I produced the first single called I Love You. I produced the video, the music video as well. And may I properly present him to the world. We've been putting things together for him from ever since. 
and tonight we're going to premiere the video for his single which I produce as well. The song is called I Love You. At this point, I think he's poised to be one of Jamaica's greats. I think that he has a very, very, very bright future and uh, loads of potential. <laughs> I, I've decided to take on a new role as far as you know artist development is concerned. And you know, Kenny's my first project. I feel proud of him to see the steps and the strides that he has made. And you know, it feel good and hopefully, you know, everybody present will get that same feeling from it. Only a couple of weeks now before BMMF and things have to do. Yeah, right. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Uh, if you can fly up them before you have to. Yeah, let's fall over. Okay, let's go. Rocky and Martin come check me on my yard for to put up the board. Them, them are ready. Cause at the end of the day, me not even business if nobody wants to see me. I put up board. Me I put up board because I guess what the show have to do. The screw them just not nah, go in. It's like no one that's gonna go out. Come and know where I do the thing, right? We never have no power supply, so we have to use the car battery for run the screw gun. And the screw them just not nah, go in. Wow. One turn. Right. It couldn't back out the way. Back out, it's thank God again. Back it out. <laughs> Broke again. One time I broke off in a round now. A good good movement. Good broke off in a round you this one. It's so good, you know, sometimes. And all the time it can you know it can go out, you know, sometimes it go in a little bit and then you take it out and when you put it back in it just broke. So it goes sometimes, you know? And all the time I hold it for screen. <laughs> Mad, if thanks to brother. Nice sir. Uh, it's a movement again. I'm a buck, I'm a bust, I'm tired. I know I said tonight at Alistair's birthday, I know I said the man them I look forward to me being there. I can't make it. When I say I'm a buck, I'm a buck, I'm a stag off to go in. Me. Uh, buck! So it's Alex's birthday. So, as friends, we decided that, you know, we need to do something for Alex. Flex decides that he's going to take me to a strip club. Yeah, well, you know, so Alex's girlfriend is like miles away, you know what I mean? On the other side of the planet. So, he do not know birthday, we have to try to arrange something so the virgin can enjoy himself, you know what I mean? A special treat for the birthday, you know what I mean? I don't know. I wasn't really feeling it still. I don't know if the strippers tonight were on vacation or them gone to a different club, but I did not go into a strip club. But I went into a bat cave. That's amazing. I like I wanted to leave. We see Alex in the corner, you know, just sitting by himself, looking like he's not enjoying his birthday. So we link up with Russia and them and say, yo, we need to just find a girl for Alex, make him talk. You know, the club at least, you understand? Maybe she have her ways of encouraging him to, you know, build her vibes, I don't know. <laughs> We didn't have much to work with, you know. 
there wasn't that many options there, but we did what we could with what was there, you know? Yeah. Uh, to be honest, look like she bite now on grenade sandwich. Can I take them all over the place? God no. If it's that you're trying to encourage me to go out and have fun and go meet women, I think I'll wait. We try. <laughs> the vibe wasn't that great at the strip club, you know what I mean? I don't know if we chose the wrong night or what, or we're too early or too late. Man, I'm saying, you know, here what? It's a Monday, Moita Mondays, Wago Suzy's. Let's go. It's the first that people see in TOK out in you know, Moita Mondays. Well, no, the first time seeing us out ever in a long time. Super hype on the crew. Everybody, it was just a, a thing, you know, Alex getting birthday cake and all these things. Wonderful vibe. Yeah, well, it was a great night celebrating with my friends and my family, basically, because these guys are not really my friends. It's more like a family thing for me. And I really appreciate the effort that they took to actually do something like this. Though, what happened at the Go Go Club, I think overall it was a good night for him. See, I think we did well under the circumstances, you know? Next year we're going to deal with it even better. <laughs> I just hope that this starts a vibe that we can continue doing road, doing campaign, and stamping TOK name back in Jamaica, land we love. Next week on TOK Taking Over. So how the show thing about? If I do get the sponsors, you can hit my pocket away. I knew that this would happen. Sponsors wouldn't jump on it at the same time. So this year, I decided that it would be cool to enter the group in Sajikor Sigma Corporate Run. I haven't run in years. I don't even know if I find a sneakers right now. Let me see your life.